hello and welcome to my tube my name is Sonia if you are new here welcome my returning service thank you very much for always coming back clicking that button and joining us into that you know and I know you guys were probably like okay <laughs> October is ending now, child. What then? Tell you what, I have good news for you. And we're going to continue this Vlogtober series into Vlog November. So we are going to continue this word dissection into November. Okay? Now, thank you very much for clicking on this video. Please do not forget to give it a huge like. Comment down below what you have learned from this episode. And yeah, let's get into the word of today. The word of today is order. Let me just drink my water. Now God is a God of order. He created everything in heaven and in earth according to his divine order. According to the way that he sees it fit. God is a God of order. God has made everything beautiful in his time. Now order is roughly defined or, or maybe if I can define order for you, it's a state of being where everything and anything is in its perfect state and place. That is order for you. Have you ever come to a military camp and just admire the soldiers? How everything is just in order how the boots are the same length how the caps are facing the same direction and i'm sure you would also love to come to your house and find everything in order i mean who loves to come to a dirty house or an unorganized classroom or just a messed up uh, office no all of us have that desire in us for things to be in order now there's this big thing or this this thing that ladies like to say no i want to put my life in order i must get married by ton 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 age i must do what by ton 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 time you understand that is a desire that is put in us by god he wants us to be like him because he doesn't want us to be disorganized disoriented and all over the place not worrying about uh, anything of course but we also need to be organized so that he can his blessings can flow in an orderly manner imagine god blessing you for something before the other thing and then you later realize that actually this thing was supposed to be before this thing you understand but actually the word for today is basically just to in inspire you to have some order in your life i know i may not be the most orderly person for those that know me personally i'm not the most orderly person but i have a friend of mine who says that i like to do things in an order like i always have notes and i'm always writing down although it may not seem like it but i always like to write down to say look procedurally i need to do this first and then this and then this and that sometimes can also like not be such a good treat because people feel like no you are too organized or you are too what or you're too what now guys i'm not talking about ocd i'm not talking about the extreme cases where you want the pink to be with pink and the red to be eh, eh, no not that but just having some sense of order in your life where you even before going to work you know where your phone is there are people who don't even know where their phones are there are people who don't even know what to do from here you understand sit in a quiet corner one day or just sit on your bed or wherever it is in your house and just write down the things that you want to do in your life in an orderly way first i need to do this secondly this i Third, want this i want that and i want that and ask the lord to help you put things in order there's a story in the bible where a certain man was told that he's going to die and then when that angel of death came or that angel or that messenger actually said something very profound he said put your house in order and i'm like why would you want to put your house in order if you are dying for this very reason to say that we live in a world where we need to put things in order like right now if you have any debt pay off those debts especially especially debts that you owe other people 
physically. Pay your cousin, pay your friend, pay your sister, pay your mom, pay your dad. Pay people's money. That is one way to put things in order. If you are a father who does not take care of your children, go and look for these kids and get them in order. If you are a mom who is just all over the place and doesn't care about what's right, what's wrong, also put your life in order for the sake of your children. And God actually wants, and for yourself, God actually wants us to live a life of order. If you are an employee and you are always coming late to work, you are disorganized, you don't know what is what, every time you are just oblivious, you don't know when, when a meeting is being scheduled, put your life in order. Okay? So order is very nice. It's not strict. It's just, it's just something that when you have order, you have peace of mind. And you will be able to say yes. My life is in order. <laughs> you understand? Although we may not 100% be in order, but we can at least try. Alright? So I would like to leave you with these two scriptures. Order. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 14. And the second one is taken from the book of Titus chapter 1 verse 5. Please go read these two scriptures on order. Just ponder on them and just ask God to let you, to, to guide you. What is this order thing that, that, that you need to be? Because most of the times we may want to do something, but if you don't have the, 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 the know-how or you don't have the inspiration to do it, it may never get done. So until next time, on the finale episode, we're going to talk about seasons. And I am really, really, really hoping and praying to see you there. So please do not forget to like, share this video, comment down below. What is your life like being in order or what do, what do you understand order is? Yeah, and I'll see you next time. Bye.